שלום לכולם, נמצאת כאן איתי במאית הסרט מרגלים מזדמנים, והשיחה בינינו תתקיים בשפה האנגלית. היי, to uh, Mrs. זוהנה ג'ורג'יו, the director of occasional spies. How are you doing? היי, how are you? <laughs> I'm fine. It's nice to see you, even if we are in these uh, two pictures, in pictures. <laughs> yes. Uh, you are coming to our festival, our Romanian Film Festival in Israel, and you will be attending uh, the screenings and then some uh, QAs at uh, uh, Tel Aviv, Haifa, Hulon. Um, and uh, before your visit, I would like to discuss a bit about the movie so you can give us uh, some of a teaser uh, to come and see it and of course discuss with you later. So Occasional Spies is a documentary movie uh, about a subject that has to do a lot with us. How did you come across the subject? Why did you find it interesting? First of all, it was a little bit of... Uh, I was making another documentary before about, uh, about the Romanians' uh, uh, aliyah to, to Israel. So um, during my, my whole research back then, Uh, I, I came to this uh, story. I, I, some of the characters were part of that film too. So I thought it worth a try and uh, a research to discuss a little bit about uh, these people that uh, I named them occasional spies, but actually they were just uh, some simple people that were uh, caught in the middle of the Second World War. They were recruited by the by the British intelligence from um, from all around uh, Israel and sent back to uh, to East Europe. And basically what I was following was to see how the history is building up and how we cannot uh, say that oh yeah I, we are from one country or another country because everything is linked. everything has a connection. And basically this film is telling the story of, Romania of uh, Yugoslavia of Hungary Slovakia and Israel in the same time so it's so strange because we we are used to to learn the history of our own country but actually we are not alone <laughs> we are no, all together not. we are all together and um, and this is uh, this is what I was trying to do to tell the, the personal story of some people some simple people that in the end became heroes and For some I don't know uh, warriors for some anyway courageous people no doubt about that and this uh, is very obvious uh, while watching the the movie how they become exactly as you said now um, the movie itself you chose as you always do a very interesting way of uh, putting it all together uh, the movie actually is not only the Um, about discussions with uh, people who can portray something but it has also uh, a dramatic uh, a dramatic point of view because you chose actors to actually act on behalf of the characters you talk about um, how did you come to this decision um, when I was making the research and found out uh, all the stories of the personal stories of all the characters and Uh, of all these heroes um I realized that I I don't want to make a historical film and that's it because history is made by by little stories by detailed stories and those are the ones that are more power most powerful and of course that I was um, uh, accessing archive materials for the film so I had footage from from Israel um, uh, archive from Romanian archive from Hungarian archive Slovakian one but still was not enough for me because I wanted to tell the the personal story of my characters that I fell in love with of course and uh, I, I met their uh, families in Israel so I I was able to to know very little details that were so beautiful and so interesting and so as I said, powerful for for some for somebody's story let's say and I didn't know how to to make it happen you know because of course they are not alive anymore to tell the stories 
uh, of course, I, uh, they were in the end part of the British intelligence. So obviously they were not uh, filmed. So I decided to, to make a reenactment and to try to find people that are looking alike. And that was a complicated story because, of course, there, there are no actors that look alike my characters. And I but found, found even, some uh, similar, similarity. I, some I found and I, I'm very happy that I, I managed to do it. it you know, I mean, basically, there are all my colleagues that are making are, are part of the film. And we made this reenactment with uh, photographs. And everything comes from the fact that uh, when they started their journey, when they left uh, Tel Aviv for um, for Cairo, when their mission started, they were making they were taking pictures because back then they didn't realize that there is a secret mission, as they were simple people, as I said, and they were making pictures of themselves. So basically, the film starts with real pictures. Slowly, trans it's getting into fake pictures or reenacted pictures. And in the end, it comes back to reality, to the tough reality. So it is a it is a docudrama, if you want. But we tried to be as close as possible to the real events and not uh, not invent too much, let's say, not to and fictionalize. What, yeah, and if what you said just now didn't... Uh, uh make people uh, come to the movie then i don't know what <laughs> but it's a uh, it's very it's a very interesting story it's a very important one for us to know and uh, we'll talk more when we meet at the, the different screenings about your motivation to explore this uh, particular um, uh, story in time this period and israel in general and Jews, because there is something very interesting. We'll keep that for the holes themselves, for the cinema text that I just mentioned. And uh, uh, at the end of the day, um, do you have more movies to come, documentaries, that somehow you found their materials in this one? It is, it is always, uh, it's like a... Uh... It's like a fairy tale because, uh, of course, during during a research, you found you find some other things that are moving you further. Yes, I do have something in my mind, and I hope uh, I will find a lead, a leading, uh, you know, little wire to to that one. All I can promise to to the audience is that for sure they will find out things that they never know about this subject, and. Uh, this was happening to me even when I showed the film to the families of uh, of these heroes. They were they didn't know some of the stories. What I was doing was to put them together to get information from here and there, and found something very interesting. So I promise that will be some revelations about Israeli history. Okay, no doubt about that. Um, Mrs. Wana Georgiou, thank you very much, and we are looking forward to see you here in Israel. ביי. ביי, ביי, ביי. למען הצופים שלנו כאן, uh, כאמור, הסרט מרגלים מזדמנים יוקרן בסינמטקים של uh, תל אביב, חיפה, חולון, ובסוף אוקטובר גם בירושלים. אז אנחנו מחכים לכם באולמות להתראות. כאן איריס לקנר, uh, האוצרת והמנהלת uh, של פסטיבל הקולנוע הרומני בישראל.